Hey everybody, how's it going? I am so happy to be here on a Saturday. This is so great. Um, I love streaming at this time. It just makes my heart happy. Oh, I have another fun shirt. This is my Final Fantasy VII shirt. You got uh, Sephiroth burning down Nibelheim there, which is super awesome. I've actually only played the original one time. I played it for the first time during COVID, but I loved the remake. I have not played Rebirth yet though, so don't spoil me. Um, and so, um, as we're getting back, back started here, if you did not watch the bonus episode over on YouTube, episode 14.5, we found our boy James here. The Chimeco Levitate is actually a very nice ability. It gives James immunity to ground type attacks. So that's wonderful. Confusion takedown, uproar and yawn. Um, okay, so right now we're gonna start, we're gonna get James up a couple levels. Here, it looks like our Kelpsy Berries are blooming. So we should be able to pick these by the end of the stream today, I would think. Um, <clears throat> at least that's my hope. Let's give him some water. Let him be nice and happy. Um, I'm going to pop down here, and I'm going to do a few of the battles that we skipped um, over on this route. Like, we could fight this fella. Um, I'm actually going to do this double battle down here. This will be nice. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure this ninja boy should have some poison type Pokemon that hopefully our Chai, Chai Mecha will be strong against. Maybe a coughing? Ah, no, went for Ninjask. That's actually quite bad. <laughs> I think Ninjask only has, would only have like Fury Cutter though, as of now. And the rain will um, weaken Slugma's fire type attack, so that's good. Um, but how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Um, been a pretty chill week thus far. Um, my wife and I got to spend some nice quality time this morning, which is happy, because, you know, she's been, she's been gone a lot of the week, so it was, it was good to spend more time with her. Um, but here our Chimeco is finally getting some game action. I'm very excited about it. Um... James is a wonderful addition to the team. Um, and before too long, I'll probably fly down to... Uh, there we go. Get a nice confusion on that coffin when we can. Um, hopefully it doesn't explode. But uh, we can go down to Lily Cove City and I can do my best to start making those berries for Phoebus. Um, so then we can finally start training him. Um... And when we do train, when we do train Feebas and we get that beauty all the way up, it's going to be like, it's going to be a powerhouse. Um, because Feebas, again, it functions a lot like Gyarados. It's terrible and then it's amazing. Um, and it's just an ugly fish. But Melodic, er, yeah, Melodic, the Pokemon that... Feebas evolves into is much more kind of like bulky, like a little more defensive. It's still powerful, but it's not like an offensive beast like Gyarados is. Um, Alright. Um, I think there might be an... Yes, there's an item over here. An elixir! So we'll fight this trainer over here. Maybe, there we go. Um, yes, I thought this was a bird keeper. Hello, I, I like how he has his little cage next to him. Um, but yeah, after this, we can probably hop down to Lily Cove City. I know, uh, I definitely want to make sure I secure more of those special berries because I could mess up and not make the berries good enough. Hopefully I do. Um, cause again, this, uh, according to this little guide I'm looking at, <laughs> all the berries need to be above level 23. Wow, James is looking mighty right now. Let's see what he can do against Atropius. Atropius is definitely a little, 
little bulkier than a wind goal, but I was surprised that that confusion was a one shot still. Um, awesome, nice critical hit. Um, this week and weekend, I have started to work on some new music for Silver Cave, which I'm very excited about. Um, I did also announce this week, you know, if you're watching this, it might be out already, but on June 28th, 2024, um, Silver Cave is releasing a couple metal versions of Taylor Swift songs. Um, I did just a little two song EP because I've loved Taylor Swift like forever before she was, you know, the sun, the music industry revolved around. Um, but, uh... I have a couple of her classic songs that I wanted to cover in a heavy metal style. And uh, I think they turned out really good. And I'm really excited to release them. They come out, like I said, on the 28th. Which is great, and I would be remiss if I did not mention that. Um, let's see. All right. So now we can try to make some more of these berries. We did that little practice round. Um, I'm probably gonna do it with this guy. So, again, we need to make our Hondu berries and our Kelpsy berries. Um, so we have four of each. So really, I just need to make sure I save one of each. Let me save my game, just in case I mess this up. Okay, so the level has to be 23 or higher, and they should be, but let's give this a try. I sure did. I do know how to make a Poke Block. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it well. Okay. Let's do it. All right, here's the part where I get really focused. <laughs> Good ending, good ending. Love it. I got eight little critical hits there. Let's see how that turned out. Whew, come on. Indigo Poke Block level is 23 and the feel is 20. Okay, love that. Um, yes, I would like to blend another berry. Oh, man. Ugh, this is going to make me just nervous. I'll do a Hondu this time. All right. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Try not to curse. <laughs> I got 13. That's that's the best I've done so far, but the freaking old timer hit a lot of level 23 is feel is 20. Um, I'm going to try I'm going to try doing it with three people this time. Yes. I do know how to make pokey blocks. Okay. All right. So we're going to do another kelpsy berry. Okay, so I'm still in the top right there. Lassie and dude. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I wonder if that was any better. <laughs> I really do. Oh, Lassie got the best score, technically, I guess. Or she got the most, like, critical hits. That I felt like that did take a little less time. Oh, a gray Pokeblock was made. I don't want a gray Pokeblock. No. I want blue or indigo. No. That's not what I want. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to go back with the old timer. All right. All right, I'm not gonna do my last Kelsey Bear yet, but we'll do this one. Because I feel like he's gonna kind of just use the same thing every time, so I know it's gonna turn out to be Indigo. Because, again, for Feebas, we have to give him Blue or Indigo Pokeblocks. Because that's what's going to increase his beauty stat. for me. That's probably my best score. Feel is 20 still. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to take a break for now. Hey, what's up, PM Dub? <laughs> Good to see you. Let's see. You've got me as background noise. I love that. That's fine. I appreciate you. Um, but let's see. We are just making Pokeblocks for Feebass here. Um, actually, let me go ahead and keep doing this. I do know how to make a Pokeblock. So now I wasted one making a gray Pokeblock with those other two people. But okay, I'm going to do two more Hondu berries and then I'm going to see what Harry kind of like looks like. I love that you get the nice uh, bike music as you do this. Ah, no! I don't know, guys. I feel like I wasn't locked in on that one. A light blue Pokeblock was made, though. That's interesting. Um... Yes, one more. Alright, so let's see. We're going to do one more Hondu Berry, and then we're going to figure out what Harry's deal is. Lovely. Good start. Dang it. I feel like Mr. is killing me. Alright, let's see. I don't know if there's a difference between light blue and blue, but we're gonna find out. Okay. So now I'm gonna hop out of here. Because I want to keep one more Kelpsy and one more Hondu to plant in case I need to, in case those two that I've already planted get messed up somehow. Um, Alright, let's check this out. Alright, so we got my boy Harry. And I'll shift out Ziggy for now. Alright. So if we go in here to our Pokeblock case, uh, I believe that's in our key items, right? Yes. So now that we're in our Pokeblock case, we have some Indigo Pokeblocks. We have Light Blue. Um, we have another Indigo. So let's try feeding Harry an Indigo Pokeblock. And he should like it uh, because he has the nature for it. So let's do it. Harry happily ate the indigo Pokeblock. That's great. So this should increase his beauty. And it did. Love it. 
So we need that beauty to hit all the way to the corner, all right? And once that happens, um, he's going to be able to evolve, so that's awesome. Let's feed him another indigo. So the maximum that the maximum amount of Poke Blocks we can feed Harry is 12, it seems. Alright. So here is two. Okay. Toughness and beauty were enhanced. I'm gonna try. I don't wanna do that one because it's gotta be above. It's gotta be 23 or above, I'm seeing I'm seeing. So let's try a light blue. So this should be fine. disdainfully ate the light blue poke block. Okay, so my beauty was enhanced, but that kind of got messed up. Oh, uh, it looks like there's... Let's try this one. No. Okay, so he doesn't like the light blue. It still increases the beauty a little bit. So we have fed him four. Um, so we're gonna need to do a little more than that. Um, so let me pop up to the old Fortree City. Hopefully our berries are ready, they might not be. I would like for them to be. They are not, that's annoying, that's okay. Um, so let's... Alright, I think here we can fight some of those trainers that we had over in Lily Cove City. Um, to kind of get the rest of the squad up to snuff here. While we are waiting for those berries to... Season? <laughs> I should still be able to... Um... I should still be able to use those last two berries that we have to make Pokeblocks, but I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of nervous about it. Um, alright. But let's get into this fight while we're at it. Lovely. Get our Chimeco James up a few levels. Thanks for joining us today, if you're just stopping in. We're doing our Emerald playthrough here. <laughs> Um, we have a couple, like, more normal Pokemon on the squad, but I'm very happy to use a Chimeco this run. I'm using it on the Makahita. And also, we're trying to do a Feebas in Emerald for the first time in my life, so that'll be really cool. And hopefully I don't mess up this Pokeblock thing. So I know I fed, I fed him four. I can only feed him eight more. So I gotta make sure they're definitely blue or indigo. Because the light blue ones, I thought would... They still increased his beauty, but... Uh, he didn't really like them. And I was really doing whatever I could to make sure he had the correct nature to like the blue or the indigo Pokeblocks. So. I'm gonna try not to mess that up. Ah, yes. Hope. Oh, oopsie. Um, I'll just use takedown on this Poochiana in case it doesn't die. Oops, it did. Great. Um, got that nice critical hit. Oh, don't effects for me. Just don't do it. Okay, great. Lovely. Yes, that's lo awesome. I should take care of that. Yeah, James is coming in and immediately doing really well. I'm really, I'm really happy with uh, James's effort, man. Um, this is lovely. Oh gosh, and Blaine having fly has just been a godsend, dude. Um, Blaine was really just hoofing it with some really weak moves for a while. There we go. Ah oh, yes, finally get these couple items here. Nice revive, classic, always need revives. 
Ah, shop it. We meet again. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, one thing is that's always really annoying about this trainer is that if you want to get that item, now I have to go all the way around in the grass because he blocks the way. It's just an annoying little thing that I always remember about this game. <laughs> gotta throw my phone along. It's a little cold. There's that main hat trick once again. Once again. Oh yeah, I might have to swap James out here. Yeah, that spark hurts a little bit. And that's all right. We got Grovile and go right into Piccolo. It's going to be easy. I don't know if we have used our newly evolved Ron yet or not. Nice. Ah! Brutal. Um, our pal Piccolo is also getting pretty close to evolving. I know Blaine is getting pretty close to evolving. Our team is really... They're, they're growing up so fast. Oh, trying to learn Psy Wave. Psy Wave is a really weird move um, because it does... It does a varying amount of damage. Um, I don't know, man. Because we have Uproar... Uproar is not really going to come in terrible handy. I'll get rid of Uproar, because we're going to get rid of that eventually anyway. And Psywave could come in handy if we're really backed into a corner and we're just like, uh, hopefully this does a lot of damage. <laughs> um, ah, yes, and he gets your number. Gentleman Walter. There we go. Ah, Carbos, lovely. Um... Who needs oops, a bit more speed? I want to make James faster, because James is our newest member. Ah, one other thing we can do. Let's uh, just pop right back to Lily Cove City. I don't know why I didn't just run there, but that's all right. <laughs> So here, what we can do is there is a department store here in Lily Cove City. And standing there is our old pal, May. I wonder what she's got to say. Oh, hey, SEG, are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Ah, we can use that for our secret base. That's very cool. Um, so now we have this battle with our buddy May. And this is actually a very special battle. Um, and we'll learn why in a second. Ah, yes. I want to see how much damage Psy Wave is going to do on this turn. Oh, wow. That did not do a lot. Oh, that was a critical hit. Yeah, like, how much does this do? Okay. <laughs> it did about as much as Confusion. Um... We gotta swap out. It's all right, James. You're new. You're the new guy. Don't worry about it. It's okay. And it's funny um, because May. I think I mentioned this last time. Your rival in this game. Oh, if you choose to play as a girl character, your rival will be a boy, and his name will be Brendan instead of May. Fun fact. But. Uh, there we go. She starts out so tough, and because uh, that fight under Cycling Road, again, is like famous for being really difficult. Um, but then she really just chills out, and you can really um, handle her pretty easily. Um, for this, I'm actually going to use Piccolo. Because Pelipper will probably have like Wing Attack or something. But we still, it's still got that water typing, so we can hit it with a nice leaf blade. There we go. Still just one to protect. That's alright. That is something that the Pelipers in this game 
always try to do. They always try to double protect. It's always really annoying. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. There that is again. That is one great thing about Quick Attack, is you get those nice, clean finishers. But, unfortunately, Protect is always going to be the priority move. Um, we'll let Blaine take out Combuskin here. James would have been nice, actually. I should have saved James for the Combuskin, but that's okay. Uh, what's up, Hans? Um, how's it going? We're doing well. How are you? We're just playing Emerald here. Um, I'm trying to evolve my Feebas into Melodic, um, which is a journey. A real journey. Um, but it's it's fun. It's going well so far, I think. I haven't messed up too much. Um, but good to stop by. How are you? Um, let's see. <laughs> yes, it was it was kind of a lot. It probably took me like I don't know, I had speed up on for it, but it probably took me like two or three hours total to, to find it. It wasn't it wasn't too bad um, as far as finding Feebas goes. Um, oh that's a brutal miss on fly. Oh my gosh. That's alright, we'll go in the guzzle. Um but no, Feebas is super cool. I have caught and trained one in I did not mean to use flamethrower I have caught and trained one in platinum before but I have not done it in ruby sapphire or emerald so I was really happy to kind of showcase that on stream there we go Combuskin's finally down and then yeah what does she have left a ludicolo I don't know if we've seen ludicolo yet um I will let piccolo take this um, but Ludicolo is what Lombre evolves into. <laughs> it's very funny, very silly Pokemon. It actually... Ludicolo was so funny in Detective Pikachu, if you've ever seen that movie. Um, it literally was like, Ludicolo! <laughs> it was very stupid, but very funny. Um, but let's see. Oh, Mirror B, yes! Um, for those that don't know... Hans is referring to Pokemon Colosseum, which was a GameCube game, and that is a very fun game. That is one I would love to play on here at some point. Um, I think it and its sequel, XD Gale of Darkness, um, both were just really cool, fun vibes. Um, and I, man, I say it all the time, I loved the GameCube. And Mirror B has some iconic music. So now, I remember the battle I had with you on Route 103. Um... So, here, May is just like, you know, I think I'm just going to go back to Little Root. I, I've had a good time training Pokemon, but I'm going to kind of, like, retire. May just kind of decides to just chill from now on. So that is actually our last fight with May. Um, it's kind of anticlimactic, but it's fine. And it's fun. Um, so I actually wanted to pop in here to the... Um, uh, whatchamacallit... Mart, because I actually want to sell a few things. I'll sell this Max Potion, because a lot of times Hyper Potions function as Max Potions, because we're probably not going to get any Pokemon that have more than 200 each HP. Um, oh, wow, you really, you have another battle? I think you're right. Yes, yes, you are right. Um, because in the remakes of these games, what Hans is talk talking about is you have a post-game fight with your rival, which is cool. Oh, we actually have full heals here. Let's buy a few. All right, one thing that I definitely wanted to buy while we're here, I think it's on the next floor. Let's see. Yes. Um, here we can buy some TMs. And I might come back for more later, but I definitely want to buy... This one, a Brutal Snow and Wind Attack. This is the TM for Blizzard. Um, it's a pretty powerful Ice-type move, and I think that is one that we're going to teach to our dear friend Melodic, uh, which is super cool. Um, all right. So let's see, Hans, are you a, are you a Pokemon fan? You just stopping in? I feel like I often ask people 
if they are Pokemon fans, what game they started with. Um, because me, I started with, uh, I started with Yellow, but I never finished it. It wasn't, uh, just a casual. Your first game is Ruby. Very cool. Um, my first game was Yellow, and then I, I'm just checking in on my berries. Um, I don't know if they'll be ready to pick by this stream. Um, I really started to get into it with, um, gold and silver, specifically silver. Um, I actually didn't play gold. I played, um, silver and then crystal. And those are, those are my favorite games. Um, I feel like, let's see. Oh, you only really kept up with black and white. Oh, okay. until black and white. Um, I kind of, like, took a little hiatus in black and white because I was in high school and felt too cool, too cool, and, um, I didn't really like the designs in that, in those games, but, um, after that I got, I got really back into it again in college, and I, you know, found lots of friends that were into it too, it was, it was really fun, um, but, uh, yeah, so I've never had, like, the best view of the black and white games for whatever reason, just because I was at a weird time in my life. Um, I definitely want to play them here on the channel, though. All right, so I'm actually going to make these last two. So hopefully it makes an indigo Pokeblock. Maybe I should just make it by myself. That's probably the best call, instead of making it with this guy. Because if I make it by myself, I would think that would guarantee the kind of Pokeblock it's going to be. Ooh. Oh, your favorite game is Gen 5. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was just saying I don't like it. Dang it, I don't want a light blue one. All right, so I'm going to make one by myself. I think I've been messing up this whole time. Um, the moving sprites are charming. I will give you that. I really like how in, like, Crystal, this game, and, like, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, I really like how the sprites um, move a little bit and then become static again. That's kind of what I really enjoy. Okay, I think this is asking me if I want to, like, link with friends. I don't even think this is possible. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Um, let's see. It might be like you can't do this by yourself. I don't know. Can you make Pokeblocks by yourself? Folks in the comments on YouTube, you can yell at me if you'd like. Um, da -da. Yeah, so either I get the feeling that this is either going to tell me that I can't find any friends and I can't do it by myself, or it's just going to give me this message until I cancel. Yeah, I'll just cancel it. That's fine. Um, well, okay then. Um, let me try mixing with four people. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. All right. So I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna try my Kelsey Berry. All right, I'm hoping that this is a, a blue or an indigo. We'll see. And I don't know if that's how this, how it goes in this game, if it's kind of like the luck of the draw or if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's see how we did. I got second place. Indigo. Great. Love to see that. Ooh, the feel is 19. Yes, I am also very happy that they changed the evolution method in later games. That is so, so great. Oh my gosh. Um... I did want to mention this on this stream. If you are just joining us, go ahead and click my Discord link. Join the Discord, because I will often um, 
post what time I'm gonna go live. I have like a loose schedule that I will go by. Um, but uh, that is, I will always say exactly when my schedule, like when I'm gonna go live, usually like that day or the day before on Discord. Um, and we can just talk about whatever. So yeah, I just wanted to plug my Discord a little bit. I think I have it linked in my uh, YouTube um, uh, description as well. But uh, go ahead and join. I'd appreciate it. Um, okay, so one thing I'm going to do now is let's give Feebas this other indigo Pokeblock while we're thinking about it. Dry and sour. All right. go. Happily ate it. There we go. Okay, so our beauty is kind of getting toward the getting toward the end there. One place that I know we can go, and this will actually be good to good to get some nice experience, is there are there's a spot over here in Rus uh, near Rustboro City. And this is actually funny because I need to get Ziggy for this. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put Harry in the PC again for now. Um, because there is... I was actually really lucky that the Berry Master gave me um, some Hondu and Kelpty Berries earlier. Um, and that's how I got them this time. But I know there is one spot where the Kelpsy Berries are going to occur naturally. And this is actually great, because this is an area that we you are at at the very beginning of the game. And I'll actually show you here. There's this battle girl here on the beach. Um, if you come this way, this is actually the entrance to Meteor Falls. So you can actually come through Meteor Falls down to this little area um, earlier in the game if you want. I usually do it all at once because there is another kind of secret area through uh, this water here. And you have some trainers up here and you will find those rare Kelpsy Berries that I was talking about. Um, so we're gonna work our way through some of these trainers. And I think some of them are, yeah, a lot of them are fighting type trainers. So we... Yes, one of the trainers does have a Hariyama Hans. You are absolutely right. Good call. Um, so let's see. Ah, she's got a Doduo. And I don't want to swap out because this thing will probably have Pursuit and will do tons of damage on James. Oh, wow, our confusion is just, just powerful, man. Love to see it. All right. Oh, a Dodrio. I don't think we've seen one yet. Ah, great spot for Ron to shine. Ah, yes. Finally got our lair on on. And this will do, I was about to say, that'll probably do literally one damage. <laughs> Boom, baby. Love it. Alright, this is a great spot. <laughs> My matchup! Demand a battle! Um, oh, and his Pokemon's only at level 24. So, I guess their Pokemon are only this level because as soon as you can surf, you can make your way up here. Um, I don't really ever think about it until a little later in the game when I want to get some experience later. Great place for Chimeco to train. Um, I'm pretty sure Chimeco does get Psychic, um, I think relatively soon. Um, kind of like maybe early, mid-30s it gets the move Psychic. I might be wrong, it might be 40s. It should be before we challenge the Pokemon League anyway. So here, I'm just gonna do a quick save because I have anxiety. Lovely. Yes, this trainer has a Hariyama here. That's what you're talking about. Um, 
I just love the double battle mechanic in this game, man. It's just so lovely. And it's also just, mm, mwah, gorgeous when you have such a perfect little double battle matchup. When you've got a special one Pokemon for one and one for the other, baby. Ah. Swords Dance on Ninjask is not good. Alright. So I'm hoping whatever happens, Ninjask doesn't annihilate somebody. Ah, double team! Oh, it's setting up, baby! So it is... Its evasiveness is up one, its speed is about to be up two, and its attack is up two. That's what, uh, that's what can happen with Ninjas, man. Ninjas can get scary. Lovely. I... okay. Yeah, it's always gonna hit first at this point. Um, I'm actually gonna swap out Shimeko. Let's get Guzzle in here. Guzzle can more easily take a hit and has those super effective fire moves. Um, <laughs> it does... It does have the defensive stats of Paper Mache, you are exactly right. Um, and I'm actually going to swap out Blaine because I might be wrong, but I feel like it does evolve at level 33. And your Pokemon won't evolve if it faints. If it grows the level and then it faints in battle, it won't evolve, at least I'm pretty sure. I know it's like that in some games. I feel like it's still like that here in Generation 3. Ah, gulpin. Easy peasy. Oh wow, it's fast. It's f Torkoal is so slow. <laughs> Amnesia might help it live this though. Uh, not quite. Flamethrower is too strong. Where are you located, Hans? I'm in Ohio. Are you, are you in the States, or are you, uh, somewhere else? Let's see... Yes, there are some other... Oh yes, the TM for Focus Punch, that's lovely. <laughs> Not even the same continent. Where, where are you? Um, so those are the Kelpsy Berries that I was talking about. So once we defeat this... Once we do this double battle here, we'll be in good shape and have tons of berries to blend Feebas. Um, um, Ohio's great. Um, I, I actually really enjoy it. Um, I am from here. I'm definitely biased. Um, it's not like the most exciting place in the world, but I'm also a pretty like chill, low key person. Um, I live in the Columbus area. Um, like in and around Columbus. Um, but, uh, ba -ba -ba -da. yeah, it's good. I like it. I feel, I feel like Ohio gets a bad rap. Um, but, you know, I feel like a lot of places, a lot of people, rather, are kind of, like, protective of the places where they're from and where they live, even if it's not, like, objectively that great. <laughs> uh, I did used to live in California. I, believe it or not, people don't believe me when I say this, but I genuinely prefer Ohio to California. At least where I lived. I lived in L.A. Um, L.A. was not quite it for me as far as a place to live. Because um, there were cool things about it. Um, I was an actor, musician there. That's actually where I started Silver Cave, um, the band. Um, but now I just kind of continue it alone here. Um... But yeah, I did a lot of theater when I was out there in different different spots around the country. Um, it was good. Um, oh, a friend from there near Lake Erie <laughs> about how much he hates Michigan. Yeah, the the Michigan. I actually went to Ohio State. The Michigan rivalry is just something that I don't care that much about. <laughs> I feel like it's a huge thing, but I don't care much about it. Um, I better, I've been around a little bit. Um, I lived in L.A. for four years. Um, but it was good. I'm glad I went. But I'm also glad to be back. It was good. I, we, ooh, Iron Defense. Ah, uh, Guzzle doesn't need Iron Defense. Um, 
we moved back right before COVID, so that was really helpful. So here we have our kelpsy berries. It is interesting because when we planted um, the kelpsy berries over by Four Tree City there, it gave us five with one patch, but these are only two apiece. But we should definitely still have enough. I think you can catch Jigglypuff up in that grass, if I'm not mistaken. But let's pop over here, because I think, I think there's an item up here. It might just be that secret base spot. Oh, yep, there's an item. It's an iron. It's an iron. Classic. Um, let's see. So now that we have our berries, we can go... Do some blending. I will check on these. They're still not ready. All right, so now that we have six more Kelpsies, um, we can really do some nice, nice blending and hopefully, hopefully, finally evolve our Feebas. All right, I'm gonna stick with the, the four-person team here because that's that gave me some good luck last time. Um, perfect, hold on, let me. Um, okay, let's do it! Um, oh, you're planning a fishing trip. That's wonderful, Hans. I hope you have a good time. Thanks for chatting. I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you. I'll see you later. Uh, let's see. I do know how to make Pokeblocks. But yeah, have a good trip. Alright. So here's our kelp seeds. I love the kind of like little corkscrew pattern that it's got. It reminds me of those like weird unicorn suckers. Um, let's see. I was about to say, I should get like a great score on that first one every time. Nice. All right, squad was working. I would love to blend another berry. <laughs> you know what? Uh, one of these times, I'm gonna try to do it with the speed up on and see how badly I see how badly I do. Um, yeah, we got a lot of uh, spinning around and around this episode, but this is interesting. This is stuff that, again, I never do um, when I do my playthroughs, so. Uh, okay. I don't know if I missed any. No, I didn't. Zero, baby. Another indigo. Yeah, so we're doing great over here. Awesome. And, like, we can get blue or indigo Pokeblocks with other berries, but we needed kind of those rarer, high-level berries to make, like, the level 23 or above um, Pokeblocks. Because if you recall, when we did our practice round with the Orin Berry, it was only level 12. And if we do that, we might not be able to feed Feebas enough berries to get it all, to get its beauty all the way up. Okay. Lovely. Another indigo. Yes. Let's blend one more for now. All right, I'm gonna try this one on speed up. <laughs> See if I get destroyed. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the worst one ever. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll stop for now. All right, let's see if this gets our, our boy all the way up. Um, on the beauty. I, I, it's weird to say beauty stat, because it's not like a stat, it's like a, con it's a condition. Oh, and if you look here, our Feebas 
is not in the party. I forgot about that. Uh, all right, I'll show that off in a second. Um, let's see. Let me go get him. I needed our boy Ziggy to surf. But once our Feebas can finally evolve, he can be our surfer. I will have to figure out people to use Strength and Rock Smash at some point. The HMs in this game can get a little bit annoying. It's not as bad as Generation 4. Um, but let's see. Here we go. So, if we look at Harry, you see how there's a little there's a little sparkle there above Chimeco? There's just one. Harry should definitely have more than one. See how it goes in that little half circle around him? Um, the more Poke Blocks you give him, it can go all the way around. And that's like, you know, it's special contest stats. So we're going to give Harry our Indigo Poke Block. Perfect. Um, there we go. Awesome. I'm going to give him one more. Happily ate the Indigo Poke Block. Um, okay, let me give him our last one, actually. Because I feel like that will take his beauty all the way up. I think. It appears to be touching the end to me. Um, let's do a little experiment. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to save actually in case I like mess something up. All right, so we have just a couple. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out, this is the Safari Zone. Um, and what you can do in the Safari Zone is you can actually put Pokeblocks in this Poke uh, Pokemon feeder. I'll actually show you. Yeah. And here is actually, um, in the post game, after you beat the Pokemon League, there will be some new Johto Pokemon that show up. Ooh, listen to this music. Oh, yeah. This is Safari music right there. That's awesome. Okay, so here you can run around and catch whatever you want, much like other ones, like you see we have in the two here. I think you can catch Heracross and Pinsir here, which is awesome. Um, I know, like I said, I know in the post game you can catch, like... Giraffe rig and like hound hound hour. So yeah, we can put a poke block in the feeder. Let's use this light blue one because we know he doesn't like it. And I think this will make specific kinds of Pokemon appear in this grass. Um, I don't know that. Uh, I'm not certain of that. Um, I'm sure someone else knows, but. And there are kind of, there are different terrains you can go to. I keep on accidentally throwing Pokeballs. Oh, well, I caught another Oddish. <laughs> another little guy. No, it's all right. So, yes, if we look over here, you can go to, like, different areas. Um, and the, the terrain can change a little bit. Here it looks mostly the same. But I know there's some that are a bit more rocky and whatnot. And we can take our mock bike up here. Aha. And I know in one of these areas you can find Heracross and Pinsir, which are going to be some of the prizes. Oh, it's very nice. I have never, ever thought about training a Rhyhorn in this game. That would be super fun. Um, I actually didn't remember that um, Rhyhorn is even in, like, the base game of Emerald. You just never see them. Um, and I never really go into the Safari Zone. That's really cool! Um, I'm going to name this Rhyhorn Giovanna. Oop. Giovanna. So 
yeah, that's what the Safari Zone looks like in this game. Um, let me pop over to where I was earlier to see if that Pokeblock block feeder did anything. Ah, it looks like those guys are hiding the special area. Oh, Giraffe Rig, you can get before the post game. It's just so interesting because no trainers use the Pokemon that are in the Safari Zone, so you just don't see them, or they, they use them pretty rarely, it seems. Very cool. Ah, here's Gloom. Lovely. Um, here's that Pokeblock feeder. Do I have to talk to it? No. Um, ah, yes, Giraffe Rig. Maybe my light blue Pokeblock made a difference. Maybe that helped uh, this Giraffe Rig show up. <laughs> All right. Well, I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, I wasn't really looking for anything in the Safari Zone, but can I just retire? There you go. No. Retire. There we go. Yes, I would. Lovely. Well, we got a Rhyhorn out of it. That was fun. Um, okay. So now what I wanted to do was, I know there's a double battle I have over here. I want to use Harry in this double battle so I can get him to level 23. And if he gets to level 23 and evolves, I know his beauty stat is maxed. If not, I know we'll need to make a couple more uh, indigos. Alright, this is actually nice here. Um, and I will swap him out, because I definitely don't want him to die. That's annoying. Foresight is an interesting move. Oftentimes the AI will use it at times when it's not like appropriate to. Like it did not need to use foresight to hit Ron. Um, all right, Pursuit, he again, really hit the wrong Pokemon there. That's a dark type move. All right, that's actually annoyingly going to spread out the experience a little bit. Um, with Harry, so he might not evolve. Or might not level up, rather. But that's okay. Now, I think Beautifly can learn um, Mega Drain. Can indeed. So I was very correct to not throw Feebas back in, or else he would have got destroyed. Lovely. You'll love to see it. All right, I actually need to check to see where Harry's experience level is right now. Um, just bring my music back on. All right, so just 660, and he will get to the next level. Um, after this level, I can just give him a rare candy. But I didn't want to waste the experience. I know he already had. So let me just go ahead and fight this ninja boy. Ninja boy. And there's still plenty more trainers that Harry can feast upon once he has actually evolved. Um, there we go. A new sludge wouldn't affect, and if it decides to blow up, it's going to do nothing. I think this is not very effective. Oh, no, it is. It's normally effective. I actually didn't know that. All right, so... That gave us over 300, so we'll switch train Harry against this Ninjask, and that should give him enough to level up. Jeez, um, Ron. Uh, yes, now I will never hit the Ninjask. Ninjask always got, has these sneaky techniques. It likes to use Sand Attack, likes to use Double Team, likes to use Swords Dance. It's such a cool Pokemon. Um, and things can really stack on it quick. A lot of the trainers here are just so committed to not attacking <laughs> um, that it doesn't really effectively ever use Swords Dance because it's plus four right now. I'm also incapable of hitting it. 
But now he's going to try to stack his Fury Cutters. There we go. I just got to hit one more headbutt. Come on, baby. Ay, ay, ay. And now he's double teaming. Wow, it's going to be very difficult for me to hit him at this point. Um, all right, I think I can only take one more Fury Cutter. Nope, not even one. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> well, we might be in trouble, gang. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Come on! I think it's evasiveness is there we go. Finally. <laughs> there we go. Harry to level 23, so we are hoping Harry evolves. Let's see. Kego. Is Harry evolving? Yes. The time has come. All that hard work is finally worth it. Let's see this beauty. Ugh. Look at that beautiful creature! Melodic! Oh, so happy. Woo! Okay. So, we now have Harry, the Melodic. Marvel scale, ups defensive suffering. That might be... Um, I don't know what suffering means in Generation 3. Um, cause a lot of these descriptions, like, ups defensive suffering, that's very not specific, but they only have that little line of text. Um, if it has a status condition, that's what it means by suffering. Um, so that's great. That's a really good ability. Um, has, it has really good special defense specifically, does Melodic. It still only knows Splash and Tackle. Um, but not for long. We're gonna teach him Surf. Um... And now, with that, we can finally start leveling him up. Yes. Oh, let's go ahead and teach him Blizzard. We got that TM. Let's do it. There you are. Base 120 move. It's not very accurate, but it is very strong. Love this, guys. We have our squad. We finally have our squad. It has taken 15 episodes. <laughs> to fully get the team. But we're here. We're out here, baby. Oh, look at that. It's like he's got a halo. He's beautiful. Oh. All right. So I'm going to fight this fella. And this is going to be amazing. Yes. Yes, I knew he'd have a lot of ground type Pokemon. Um, so this is great for Melodic. And in the rain, our Surf is going to be boosted. Oh, one shot city surf is such a strong move it's 90 not 95 base power it's easily the best hm you can use in battle it's so great oh i'm so happy we finally we finally rounded into form oh amazing and it's i'm so happy to have achieved this in this game Again, it's it's a it's a new frontier for me as someone who has played this game a million freaking times. Never done this. And that is just one shot city. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Next episode we're really gonna have to go around and fight some of those trainers we skipped. So happy. But here, this is another little rock formation. If you recall, we saw something that looked a lot like this in the desert ruins. I wonder what this could mean. Very interesting. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Um, <laughs> but with that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and save. That's a really nice stopping point, um, getting melodic. That was so amazing. But uh, thanks for being here with me today. This has been super fun. Um, I love streaming on, the sa on Saturday here. I feel like we always have some nice people stop in. Um, and again, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. You can go ahead and subscribe. You can like the video. Um, join the Discord as well. If you are watching now, 
or if you're watching on YouTube later, go ahead and click on the Discord and it should give you an invite to the Silver Cave Gaming Discord and I'll let you know when I'm going live and we'll just chat and be merry. But with that, folks, appreciate you. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you later. Peace.